that we can have uh, i will speak very very slowly and if there's something important that i am saying i will type it out is that okay and by the way i will speak very less today i i'm going to show you a lot of things yeah great so i think uh, we have uh, four odd participants now and i think we should, it's a good time before i always feel a very good number for years my class size was 24 uh, and uh, so let's just begin now and uh, so a little recap of what we have done i'll begin with that it's slightly different way today i have like small presentations to show yeah okay so govind can you start the one point perspective one okay i am going off now you will be able to probably see me yeah no ओके वन सेकंड ना मैं लेट मी पुट वन ऑडियो क्लीन वन सेकंड ना इसको जरा कम करता हूं मैं जस्ट जस्ट मिस मोमेंट ये ना ओके आई एम मेकिंग आई एम अनम्यूटिंग टू पीपल इन केस देयर इज एनी डिस्टरबेंस एंड एनीथिंग दैट यू वांट टू सेल आई शुड बी एबल टू हियर फ्रॉम यू राइट आई एम डूइंग टू पीपल वन इज प्रशांत आई एम अनम्यूटिंग यू or shalin sir i am unmuting you to one second ah so just in case there's any technical issue happens you please uh, uh, speak and i'll be able to listen can we do some testing can you speak sir shalin sir hello hello yes hi i think yes. i can hear you So whenever you want to give me a feedback, you can just speak, and I'll be able to hear because I am not to see the chat box at all now. All right. Let's see the chat box. Superb. So, is this visible to everybody, Salen sir? Shalin, that uh, is 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 the this visible to everybody? There's one point perspective cubes on the screen. I can I can. That's it. Okay, everybody must be able to see. That's it. If there's anything interest uh, uh, important in the chat box that pops up, just let me know so that I'll be able to address. Yeah. So really, how we started to perspective is first we did the H line. That's the. That's the H line, yeah. That's the H line here, yeah. And and this is the vanishing point. And these are the squares that we did first, like first squares, right? We did squares here. Then we connected these squares with the vanishing point. After connecting, we due to visual judgment, we had to cut it. That's how we got all these cubes, right? The same thing I have here also. Same thing happening here also. like we had to do all these lines here and then like cut it out so this is this was the basically one point perspective right now uh, okay so another interesting exercise in one point perspective would be if you draw this 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 you can actually use a scale you can actually draw a uh, nine squares and then have the vanishing point here right and see how the line goes off like how the line goes beyond this this is this is a very interesting exercise this is just eyes this is what happens inside not on the surface right so then you will have another line going like this also right this will also get cut somewhere here so how does it getting cut this is getting cut here uh, and here so that's the internal so so sometimes you just imagine all this you play around and then your 
things get clearer. When you have objects, you see your. Acha, now let me also repeat. What is this? This is the H line. I call it H line because this is your horizon. H line is also, also, and always your eye level. Okay, so H line is always your eye level. This this is vanishing point, and all these objects are basically coming from there, right? So you have uh, 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 so yeah, so, and this all the other objects are absolutely horizon, horizon. It don't go like this. It don't go like this or like that. Okay, it will basically be absolutely horizontal. That's like this. Yeah, that's basically parallel to the bottom of the paper or top of the paper or the edge line. Yeah, so that's how things happen. And vertical lines will be absolutely vertical. This is 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 vertical. It will never go like this or like that. Yeah. so this is how we have drawn we have this is just a quick recap and then i'll move ahead with this one point perspective we actually can see we can now draw things which are in front of us including larger landscapes so first thing we have to decide is where is our eye level so our eye level will be somewhere here now all these lines will basically reach at the eye level all these lines will go and reach at the vanishing point that's on the eye level yeah Check out these lines; they actually meet there. Huh? Check out this line; it will go and meet there. Check out this line; this will go and meet there. The top line goes and meet there, right? This is how it is. What would happen to the building here? This this will remain horizontal because this is in front of you, right? This is in front of you. There is no perspective there. Similarly, there is no perspective on the sides. This will this will be absolutely straight, 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 straight. Yeah. All these pavement, their line will be absolutely horizontal. Yeah, there's no distance. No, no. Even the trees will have a perspective. The top of the trees look just comes from here only. Yeah, and and anything that you want to have. Suppose in there you have lamp posts here. Yeah, you have lamp posts here. So you have lamp posts here. Okay, so they will also have. Suppose in will go and meet here. Like I should have drawn it better, but this is how it is. Yeah. Now. that's clear right i believe this these portions are clear to you all you guys same thing here when i i have gone a little up now i am on top of a uh, two floor like uh, second floor right i am at level 2 now from the level 2 so, so my h line goes up so this is my h line and my vanishing point is here so all these lines are basically going to come from here right same point we will do it slightly neatly so it will basically come from here the second line will come from here So all these line will come from there only yeah even the top line will go from here all these look to meet basically yeah so there's no problem with all this you match line and it will it will match yeah even the brick lines will match yeah so this is how it is now see one of the best places to practice one point perspective is this is very curious but you can actually make out this is library library is a very interesting why because these racks are kept in one this thing ah huh? and you actually see a point here all these things will come from there all the books racks everything will come from there yeah so that's very important you actually see things in perspective very clearly even the ceiling lines would be like going floor lines will also and this is where it will magic will happen yeah that's the vanishing point same another picture of library again see, let's see what happens if i extend these lines where does it go extend extend these lines where does it go go somewhere here extend it to where wherever it meets is your eye level yeah and the vanishing point it, it should match here if it is drawn properly yeah it is all more or less matching so it's, these are my lines are not straight so therefore So this will match and meet at the same point. Yeah, even the water line will meet. Yeah, or everything will meet. This, this, even the ceiling line, this line, all these things will go and meet there. Yeah. Now, look at this. Also, uh, is is a library which a kind of uh, as again stocks of books. It's also another way. The top lines goes meets there. This line of goes and goes and meets there. Sorry, all these lines are going to be going to meet there only. Yeah. 
So this somewhere here is going to be my vanishing point. This is, I hope, clear. I'm just repeating so that you are given these stacks on the other side will really fall in place from there only. Yeah. Interestingly. Okay, all those things are going to happen. This is how the perspective lines are. This will also go and meet at there. This end, this end will go and meet. Okay, this is how it is. Now, we are continuing one point perspective. So your high level is somewhere here. And then all these lines will go. Just touch do two lines and you will be able to figure where the vanishing point is. Now all these lines will go and meet at the same point. Yeah? And if we extend all these lines, yeah. Bottom line, if you go to meet there, this line, this line, yeah. So all the lines will go. The top line, go meet there. Even the building on the left hand side, if I put a line from the, this thing, it will go on there, right? Windows here, the top line again go and meet there. This is how things will happen, yeah. The far one, this is exception because that, that is that, that doesn't have a perspective that is in front of you, right? So that's about it. Even small details like this one, look at this. This top wall will have a dimension like this. That also will go and meet there. That little detailing that is going to matter. Yeah. Now see, continue with one point perspective. We have more lines again. Your H line is here, your vanishing point is here. It's very obvious where the vanishing point is, yeah? This is not a great drawing, there is some problem. Now, these, these are the common mistakes that's going to happen, yeah? Look at this building. This building cannot be there like this. The top one building, there's a mistake here. So it should be basically coming in from here. So this is how the building should be, right? And this is how there. So this is a mistake. This is the next building, almost correct. This is again wrong. So now you see how you know, mistakes has happened here. So, so you have to realize many times this line is again going wrong. Look at that line. Huh? So the bottom lines are fine. So you have mistakes on top. This top line will has to go like this. And that's where the mistake has happened. Huh? Yeah. Now again, one point perspective. This is where you I think all these lines are going to meet. Continue. Uh, I'm constantly repeating the reason being so that you are uh, it, it's completely uh, clear in your mind. Yeah, all these even the bulb lights that you see now as a perspective in terms of size. You can use your ruler and figure out how things are. Right? This, this, right? That continues like this. Now go. This is more complex. Yeah, this is again correct. The top, the thing that we saw in the other one. Now this is going meeting there. So you see this grid. You see now. This is one. This thing. Now this will go like this As, because this is also getting narrower. This is also getting narrower. So we get. Now this space will get smaller and smaller and smaller. It's almost like a railway track. Like suppose if I track here, like this is how it happened. So yeah, so all these lines are basically leading there. You can see those lines. Similar one, this is the last slide on the one point perspective, but you see these lines are going here, here. I hope you are able to see the red lines, right? Salinson? Yes, sir. Yeah. Prashant, so you can see the lens, Hanji, the sir. So this is how things happen. So the horizontal lines are absolutely horizontal. Verticals are absolutely vertical. Everything is leading to the managing point, yeah. Now we started two point perspective. What we started off is basically started drawing cubes. This was the you basically that that we did, which is two sides going there, another going on the right hand side. So that's that's how we started. And then like after the cube is made, you actually 
when you realize you can divide them into various this is one of what the participants drawing only i'm just doing it for reference this is how you have to explore this is also like kind of small little things that you can play now see this this there only in in two point perspective there are only three kind of lines there's no horizontal line by the way there is absolutely no horizontal line it will be horizontal line only if there's something which falls exactly on the edge line yeah only then there will be horizontal line because other than that there will be line leading to vanishing point 1 or vanishing point 2 only all these lines will be leading there all this they cannot be any line right so and and uh, the vanishing point two now even the top is aligned this is aligned this is aligned this is aligned this is aligned yeah so there will be this is also aligned look at this this also if you extend it will go and vanish there so so you basically have to uh, three kind of lines one that leads to vanishing point one another that leads to vanishing point two and the third line which is this is vertical lines Okay, there, there are all the vertical lines here, and they will be absolutely vertical. Yeah, so that's about it. So, so there will be three kind of lines. There is no horizontal line in two-point perspective. Yeah. Now you see here also you have two-point perspective. Three kind of lines here. One that leads to vanishing point one, which is here. Another that leads to vanishing point two, which is like outside the paper, somewhere here. Can you see this red dot also outside now? Yes, we can. Yeah, superb. So that's basically it goes outside somewhere, somewhere here, yeah, on the same line. So all these lines will go and meet there only. Yeah. So this is one line, vanishing point one here. So all these lines will go and meet at vanishing point. Yeah. So that's one. And rest of the lines are vertical lines. The rest of the lines are all vertical lines, and there's no horizontal line at all. There's not a single line in this entire thing that will be horizontal, other than the your edge line. Okay, this is another play. You can actually start making, you know, things like this on the space. Like this, are all these lines are basically going to vanishing point two, and then all these lines are going to go in vanishing point one. Yeah. And rest of it is vertical lines. Just set that set four vertical lines. Now this is how you actually start drawing the uh, little spaces, yeah. And then you play with the cuboids here. There are things interesting forms here, here, yeah, everywhere. There's interesting form. So you can actually start playing with all these things. More you play, uh, more clear it will be in your mind. Now things like this again, like in a little simple office space, the red point perspective here. One goes like, sorry, one second. One goes like here, and then goes and crosses somewhere. So that's my that's my vanishing point one. That I have got okay, and I have got. Now this has to go and cut. So most probably this thing is going to be here. This is vanishing point two I've got. Yeah. So if all the lines are matching, yes, it is matching. This is also matching there. This is also matching there. This is also matching. Everything will match. Look at this partition of the desk will also match. This floor line will also match. Yeah, the rest of it is vertical. Now look at the line on the left. Now this is very interesting. This is a distortion. This has gone beyond, and therefore little distortion. But still, it is following the vanishing point. Look at this. Even if there is a distortion, this is a trick that most of these architects and and illustrators play. They they purposely do a little bit of distortion that uh, you are interested in this, but they don't break the rule at all. Look at this. So this is bottom line which is coming from. I first I figured out where the vanishing point one is, where the vanishing point is, right? Even this line will go and meet at vanishing point two. Yeah. Look at this is coming from vanishing point one. Everything goes like this, yeah. Now it's so easy to make floors, now. To make floor lines anywhere, you can actually make these floor lines. You have this cutting here, cutting here. 
just two vanishing points cutting each other and you will be able to figure out where the flow lines are. There's a little distortion here and here that is bound to happen, but that will look good only. That will look more graphical to you. Yeah. You want to have lines on the ceilings the same way. You actually keep drawing lines which are from one vanishing point first. Yeah. And then from the other vanishing point. Yeah. See what happens. If you draw from the other vanishing point, sorry, here, 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 here. And distortion. So that's the ceiling line. You see that the ceiling line thing happened. Yeah? Okay. Let's move ahead. Again, there's a that all these lines are vanishing, going to some vanishing point somewhere here. And uh, another one is somewhere here. All these lines, window lines. Everything, the terrace lines, the bottom line, everything will come from there. So this is like basically two point perspective and both my vanishing point one and vanishing point two will fall on the edge line. Yeah? yeah, now see, this is like little fun that people do when when you are when you're constantly practicing. No, you're many times you don't need those lines. Now, this will come very naturally to you, right? You suddenly see imagine a space. Generally, in your mind, some space, all of it, this shape need not exist. Like, you know, it's very difficult to be practical, like this one. But it just is a state of mind or something which is generally drawing. That's the fun I want you to have, right? Take out your pen, take out your pencil, and start creating shapes now. Now you know, now you know things. That all these lines will go and meet. You don't have to draw it now, yeah? After a point, you will stop drawing it because subconsciously all these things are going to work with you even this line is going to meet there this line is going to meet there this line is going to meet there right that's and the other side you see this line at the same level yeah so this this so all these lines are basically going to come from the same basically leading to the same vanishing point yeah Right. So even if you don't draw after a point, after a point, even if you don't draw, and the artist or the architect who has drawn it has kept all the vertical lines absolutely vertical. And that's the reason a lot of fun. Yeah. Let's look at the drawing again. Disturbances. And that's how it is. Very simple, no? And then you have a little, little line going like, like this. This is really nice free fluid, which gives us some contrast. So that's about it here. Now let's move to the next presentation. No. Govind, where is the next presentation? So what is this? Multipoint perspective. Multi -point perspective yes. So now we're going to, we have heard something about multipoint perspective the other day, right? So Snigda, thank you for this picture. Snigda today sent me this picture on WhatsApp saying, I'm having difficulty figuring out where is the vanishing point. Now the vanishing point is not one. There is multiple vanishing points here because these houses, they are totally turned around. Right? You have to remember this, how things happen. Now what for to understand it, what I've done is I have first taken down the color. Now that I have taken up the color that I can make you understand this is, I hope this is visible to everybody. Prashant? Not visible. Now, that's my eye level because, see, I, my eye level is slightly above the eye level of this man because I can see people, their heads far away. So that's, that's the eye level, right? That I can figure out by joining any two lines. Now I'll come to that. Yeah? So the red line is your edge line. The red line is your eye level. Yeah. Now let's identify these buildings. Now the first building on the left hand side, in fact, that could be the last building. Let's start taking from the right hand side. Yeah. The yellow and the white one is the same building, but the dimension is changing from the center. And somewhere from here, I think the dimension is changing. So that's the same building, but we have yellow and 
so yellow yellow portion is this portion primarily and this is the yellow portion and the white thing is next to this right let's watch what happens now the next one is the same the next building like this building is the same as the yellow because there's no perspective changing is happening lines it is following the same lines yeah this there's, there's no problem with that yeah problem happens with the next building next building turns around a bit that is the green one this is the green one basically yeah now i'll check out how it happens then you have the magenta one this is the magenta building yeah and that continues actually magenta in the building continues even after tense yeah the same lines so that's the magenta building basically yeah this entire thing so we have to keep watching how what situation happens there and then i have the blue building which is on my left hand side so i'll take the blue building much later now let's see what happens okay now i have drawn some dots on the red line can you see these dots one is magenta dot on the left hand side there's a green dot there's a yellow dot there's a blue dot yeah and there's a white dot actually there's a white dot here yes we can see are the dots visible yeah they are visible so now just go with the flow if there's any uh, thing, any any query that you have just address it to prashant and prashant will tell me yeah now look at this there's a magenta dot that i have drawn and i have taken lines from the magenta building right so all these lines that you see these these lines here these lines here even the lines if i draw from here so all these things basically i'm going to get it from the magenta building and that's my vanishing point one yep okay now i have drawn the magenta one i hope the the bottom you have lots of people there but even if the suppose in all the people and all the structures they move what would happen is i'll get the bottom of the building that is this yeah that's that's how it is so understanding of perspective actually helps you to understand how things are okay now let's go beyond this now the green building so all the dots vanishing point that i have drawn is like this a vanishing point 2 that's the green one yeah so all these lines from the windows from the roof huh? everything basically leads to here okay i let me do this exception this is exception because that is not straight it's a slanted thing slanted things will be exception they 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 won't lead to the vanishing point yeah uh i've got the bottom of the building also yeah i'm going slow i'm also talking slow so that in case my voice is cracking you'll be able to flow, follow the yellow now the yellow building yellow building i have got these lines i have check out all these lines i have got they are basically from all these lines are from the building right what this is multi point perspective now i have got vp 3 so infinite number of things you can have many more buildings and you can certainly have infinite number of vanishing points all on the edge line and the vanishing point won't happen here or here one building one vanishing point on the edge line just remember this yeah look at the white one the yellow building also has a portion which is on the right hand side like from here it changes right so that white line basically reaches at some vanishing point there so all these lines are basically leading like this line this line all these lines are basically leading to correct now on the left hand side the blue thing that happens that will also lead somewhere right check this even all these lines that is coming from the left hand side building they are also basically meeting at the eye level or the horizon uh, or the edge line or the vanishing point and now there's a new vanishing point because all these things are they're not aligned uh, together right they they're differently placed so therefore you will have all these things yeah now look at this line what i have done is i have removed the visual completely i have got now this is what you have to remember you have a edge line that's your horizon that's your eye level ha huh? then all your point like if you are doing one point perspective the point will fall on the edge line if you do two point perspective that will also fall on the edge line if you do multi point perspective that will also fall on edge line 
it is only when you do three point perspective your third point will not fall on the edge line that's what you have to remember three point perspective is the exception right that is like when you have tall buildings like this like so supposing you have a building like this have a straight here and here yeah so those things happen so now you have another you cut the building from here sorry you cut cut the building ha huh? wherever like you know you can choose your its left vanishing point here so this this and this line all this 1 2 and 3 they will lead to the third point that's the third point that's what you have to remember right hope this is clear to you now i will take questions on this then move to a slightly more interesting but a colorful one now this is also going to be very helpful today morning i got time i actually sat and did this presentation for you uh no i don't want to save this superb let me come back to your chat box and see if you have any questions okay so dilip sir is enjoying today's class thank you sir up uh, yes 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 now your voice is clear wow <clears throat> i've just gargled <clears throat> malvika says interesting we also do a summary of three point but i just did harsh huh? uh how did you decide on the different vps i have not decided it's there when you will whenever you draw two lines uh the point that i have put on uh, the line before putting those lines i have actually figured out where the vanishing point is it exists it is not just it's not your thought it's not your imagination it exists you are only decoding it yeah you are only discovering it uh then uh, snigda says clear thank you snigda for that image i think that image made it very clear that's a very interesting uh, photograph that you got huh? Uh, I was kicked. I saw like this is a mocha acha hai. Uh, all the staircases that I showed was very simplistic, and uh, this actually captures a lot of complexity in that. Yeah. So Hani says, uh, should we draw the drawing first and connect it from lines? You know, you have to imagine how are you going to do the composition. So therefore, I had asked you to make a uh, window. How many of you have made? Let's let's. Take a quick check. How many of you have actually made that window that I asked you to do? Can I have the numbers on the right hand side? Yes, Minakshi did. Come on, people. We have forty here. So Hani did. Anshu did. Okay. One, two, three. Malvika did. Nita did. Haripti did. Okay. Superb. Now the numbers flowing in. Superb. okay now when you have that frame no you look at something the framing is done you then you decide where your eye level is right you not decide it's there you decide it when you want to put it on paper in the frame it is there either in the middle or at top of the middle or a below the middle line it's somewhere there but on the paper you decide on the frame it might be below on the paper it's always a frame you always draw a frame and within the frame things exist yeah good thank you so much i think this lot of the people did the framing uh, anshu i level exist at your i level that never changes the first thing that i said on on the day i started perspective is saying this is one thing that will stay with you for your life that will never change only if you want to go to the escape to the space is when your eye level your horizon or a horizon range otherwise you'll we are born and we die with our own horizon yeah wo kabhi change nahi hota ha super so now i believe uh, this part is clear to you in terms of one point perspective two point perspective Uh, Suhani, can you repeat your doubt? I must have uh, missed your doubt. Just, just repeat. Can you write down again? Ouch! Minakshi says no audio. We're just managing with a some kind of jugaad today. I'll speak even slow today. Yeah. Suhani, just type out your doubt so that we can address it. 
Let me scroll up. Ajay, see, you have already typed it. Should we draw the drawings first and connect it from lines? Is vice versa? You decide. That's what I was talking about. The frame. You see it from the frame. If you're looking from a real life, right? You decide. You draw the edge line, and from there, all these lines will come. Yeah. Okay. A, a very tentative. There's one way of going about it, which is which can help you actually. Let's try this out. So what I do is suppose this is my frame. Okay. So what I do is suppose this is my frame. So tentatively, though, if I have to compose now, I know my table will be somewhere here. Yeah, my my chair will be somewhere here. A little bit of thought will first you have to have it in your mind. Then you decide like okay, now my edge line will be somewhere here, and your my vanishing point is going to be here. So now I draw things like that. So then I get my table from here, right? Then I get my chair also from there, right? So all those things I actually figure out from. The existing one. So from, so first you have a tentative idea of the composition. Then you draw the edge line. Then you draw the vanishing point, and then you have the leading lines. Yes. So I am back again. The side. Super. Is that clear, Sohani? Did I answer your question? Yusuf Fanso says yes, but those VP should be take two lines from the drawing of the building and decide the VP. Okay, Anshu. See what happens is if you have an existing drawing in front of you, supposing you are not drawing from a three-dimensional space, you are drawing from a, a photograph. In that way, what can happen is you can actually draw any two lines and check out the top line and the bottom line. Then you get a vanishing point. Once you have that vanishing point, then everything will depend on that. Everything will come from that. But your first drawing is going to be very important. And there's no one rule. Let me repeat: there is no one rule. You can draw the object first, some part of the object first, and then figure out the vanishing point. Then stick to the vanishing point. Then do not negotiate, right? Else you can begin with figure out that okay, this is my vanishing point. Is you train your eyes to be able to see. Your eyes will be able to see. Decide that's my vanishing point, and all these lines you'll be able to see, right? Super. So great so i think can we move to the next one please yeah you ready to learn color perspective i i did uh, the other day i did finish the drawing in, in in spite of the network getting off yes 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 manakshi i'm just going to show the drawing govin can 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 you have both the drawings of the last class yeah okay na yeah. come Done. Okay, so so this is the. Okay, no, no, you can't see this. One second. Okay, so this was the, the three point perspective I was talking about. Uh, What that is? Uh, what is a pen? So I had a vanishing point here. Now this doesn't let me draw on this. Anyway, so so this was something where there's a little bit of color perspective also. And uh, let me share how. So this was 
that the one was trying so but i'll show it in a better way today ah huh? this is not the great okay this thing of showing it to you let me share a presentation before you and that will be a lot of fun yes. exactly then i'm just going to show the color perspective right now okay guys uh, attention you have to follow this very this is not what i'm going to repeat okay? just follow this this is uh, all my effort i have tried to put in trying to make you understand how things happen yeah okay prashant can you see the visual yes sir yes sir superb superb okay so people you see the the, the colors how the colors change ha huh? the father this this is this is kind of blue that you have here that's one kind of blue that you have as another slightly darker but more bluish it gets slightly greenish as it comes near it gets gets more greenish as it, as it comes nearer then it gets gets slightly yellowish that's almost like olive color right and then it gets very leafy here so this is how the distance actually happens this color perspective happens through distance it has nothing to do with drawing as such this is purely color now you have to understand how things are even the uh, now there will be gradient there will be value difference now we start understand value difference value is basically intensity it's almost like when you try to draw something on paper there's a value to it like you know darker things you have to you know put more pressure on your pencil to be able to see things uh, to be able to draw when things are darker when things are lighter you do not have to press your pencil at all yeah you see that the value changes as as the distance goes away no so the one the value here is very different from the value here and that is also different from value here so as you go far away the value change the value dip, yeah and you see the value here you see the value there and then you see can you see that the last one this is something out there also so that's that's that one yeah so you see that's what makes it very beautiful now this is color perspective this is not a very familiar term right you have to understand ki how when you draw a space yeah when you paint something which is in 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 perspective like which is something which goes away from you when you see a lot of space is when you actually have to understand how things happen yeah you see the texture also you can see here you can actually see texture here last one you won't see any texture or here you won't see any texture you see some texture here yeah but slowly as it goes off it it vanishes it almost matches with the color of the sky now the sky we talked about is not blue actually if we see it blue because as when the light falls on the air that is one color that comes reaches our eyes okay similar example here also you see the texture the which one is the darkest the farthest one or the closest one yeah it's very obvious no this is the darkest this is the closest one now what we have here and what we have here there's a there's a quality there's a value difference yeah and then this is slightly similar and then you have another one this is the value difference i'm talking about yeah and then you have this then you can't even see that there's a little bit of difference here but that's not even visible a little bit of difference here so this is the value difference i'm going to talk about yeah okay so another example you see all these textures and all these green colors here this is like green color that you see here that own to be visible here that green will vanish as we talked about the other day i was showing demo the green that you see even if if supposing you can see a tree here it will be much more greener because that that will be the closest to you yeah now as it goes away the color gets faded it becomes there's a it, it acquires blueness and lightness yeah another example for you why i'm showing mountains it's easy, easy to see difference 
right? And if you see those uh, uh, impressionist painters' paintings, those paintings will have these gradients, like you know, have starts from yellow, then goes to green, and then gets bluish, and then it ends with a lot of blue at the farthest end. Here, this example has the green here, right? You see the green here on the right hand side bottom. That's an important green here. Now that the green and this green is probably the same grass, but the intensity has changed. It has become much lighter. Same grass, the intensity has become even more light. Right? The greenness that you see in this tree or the darkness that you see in the tree vanishes here, the same tree, but that vanishes here, becomes much lighter. Now, so talking about the green, the green slowly becomes lighter. Talking about the intensity now, talking about the value, now see the amount of darkness that you have here. Yeah, same tree, your darkness is much lighter here. Is much lighter here and bluish here, much lighter, and goes so light that it mixes with the mountain. Same trees, no? Here, the same trees. There will be similar trees here, but you won't be able to even see that. So see the amount of gradient that has changed in this space. Yeah. Now next time when you go to uh, a mountain, you'll enjoy the mountain much more because you'll be able to kind of know what exactly is happening. Yeah? So all these pictures that people have shown you and say this is beautiful and you have believed that it's beautiful, now you rediscover it all over again. <clears throat> okay. So here is another example. So this is basically a, a, a rocky mountain. It has texture. There's no snow at all. But there is a little bit of mist. That is what it makes. Like, you know, the closer one is the, you, 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 have, you have to cross very little amount of mist to reach the closest one. And the farthest one, it goes much beyond, right? Now, this is a slightly dramatic image. Now, uh, uh, Shalin Sir will appreciate. Uh, he's a fantastic photographer. And many of you who are into photography, we actually look for these opportunities. Like when you have some depth, like well, value difference is happening. The closest tree, the depth in the closest tree, the darkness in the closest tree, lightens up, then it goes, it's lighter here, and it's so light here, and then there will be some which is not even visible. Now this is what happens. So in such a small space, which may, might be just 100 meters, like within 100 meters, we are able to see so much of depth, right? So much of space, because you see these branches, they're almost like invisible. <clears throat> a lot of drama happening. <clears throat> this drama is taken to real life, and we're going to see that. Look at this human being out here. There's a human being, and there's a lot of trees around. There's a lot of fog, yeah? And the trees, based on the distance from the camera, from your eye, is basically trying to uh, uh, acquire a certain amount of intensity. Yeah, the closest one is the maximum amount of intensity, which is like things like this. The the farther ones like this or this, they are they're really really light. Yeah, that's how things happen. From here to what this is nature, and we always take nature as an inspiration to be able to learn from it, and then we try to convert it to the spaces that we create. Look, the stage is only very small spaces. But we have to give certain amount of depth into the space. Yeah, whatever space we have now, what works? Like if you add a bit of mist, then there's a particular way you light it up, particular way so that you get the depth. Like you suddenly the closest one gets some intensity. Yeah, and things which are just meters away, like few meters away, probably like here I can see some five six meters away only, not more than that, right? So the length of a sari basically. That's the space they are in, and see the depth, see the intensity, see the uh, value difference. Yeah? That's what makes it a lot of space. If somebody is standing out here, that person will almost be invisible because of the smoke is coming, but you have to put some mist also. You have to make the mist dramatic by lighting it from the back. Here you see, you, you see certain amount of brown and dark thing in the foreground, right? What happens in the backdrop, you don't see those browns. It gets blue. 
and with blue lighting therefore I, the, the the art director has was able to create certain amount of depth in such a small space this you have to remember right this you have to remember how things happen this will happen when you are lighting up when you are decorating your house if you're doing it at your office you're doing it any place think about all this how you know illusions optical illusions happen what is beautiful what is not all those understanding will happen here also the space is created you know you this portion is like primarily blue it is far away, slightly away from you but it looks very far away from you <coughs> and because this yellow with the four four ground yellow and brown it suddenly comes forward so this whole this becomes a four ground right nowadays you all these cameras uh, there are apps which basically you can calculate what is four ground and background you can change all those things everything can you do with the press of a button yeah now this is also a dramatic what happens is again this is a very small space it's a small stage and the space is created the sudden amount of imagination you know there's a lot of blueness here that pushes pushes it backwards there's a little there's a light there's a white light coming white light can make you see this orange color there's a this blue light which is also adding to the color here making it maroonish so all this little bit light thing actually works this is not much this adds to the composition but not very important at this moment the moment is here So therefore, that portion is late. This portion is not. This is thing, things about composition. There is perspective here, right? Little bit of perspective actually is make trying to make it more dramatic. <coughs> well, when you master the art, any art, when you have understanding, you now break the rules. Now this is an example where the rules has been broken. Here, the uh, the artist is creating an optical illusion. your eyes are trying to see what is beyond but the foreground is what should have been the background now the background is brought to the foreground this is what the uh, 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 kind of fun is so usually the blue is what is behind right but that's how i'm saying the kind, you want to create a dramatic situation you always have to exception suppose in, in film making what happens is you have a Mm, normal cut and then you have jump cut the jump cut was absolute no no till the television came in till mtv's channel v's came in and they said oh jump cut is wow like that's disruption is what keeps the viewer awake so things like this you have we play with light and you keep the viewer interested in your space yeah so so that's that's all about it i'll take questions i hope this is clear did you what how did you find it uh, i have to listen to you first hi guys i will extend this for some time okay people i i if you are busy i am i do not want to extend it for that at 4 o'clock uh, <clears throat> i want to take a quick poll in terms of if if you uh, some people wants me to continue for another 15 minutes i would like to do that yeah i want to address more questions but if you are busy then if you understood you can move on there's no problem with that yeah close one is darkest of course so and it says wow you can judge where he is standing correct interesting true yellow and blue and then blue and correct minakshi you right see the via yes Think that says I can continue. I can continue. Thanks, thanks for your time. Ah, uh, Krisha has another class. Krisha, please, please do not give practicing at all. Okay, Shalin, thank you so much. Yeah, Prashant, you are still. Uh, 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 unmuted. So, if any time you want to talk, you can always talk. I can't unmute all of them, otherwise there will be a lot of noise. Sure, yes, sir. I am around. <laughs> yes, super. Okay. <clears throat> The class I am extending it for another fifteen minutes. Right? I'll end it at four fifteen. Whoever has to go can go. There's no problem with that. And whoever wants to stay back. Can stay back and share your work. 
Minakshi, no, it is not the Vibjio thing at all. No, no, that's a, that's, that's a different understanding. That color wheel you have to study. See, color wheel will take at least two to three sessions and we do not have the luxury of that many sessions. It's very easy. You just look for color wheel on web. Yeah, you can, this is one learning that, that could be self-learning also. So there's no problem. Just try it out. A specific question, WhatsApp me, I'll answer immediately. Uh, there would be videos on YouTube for color wheel understanding. So we can refer to YouTube also. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Point perspective uh, once more, I will repeat that, okay. So usually you have two point perspective, both the points vanishing point one and two lies on the, on the edge line. But what happens when you look from top like for example, you are you are looking from a thirtieth floor and looking down, yeah. So then all these buildings will go down somewhere. There will be third point emerging much below, below the ground. All these buildings, all these lines will go there and meet. That's the third point. Or maybe when you came up, when the lots of building, tall buildings, they won't be straight. That will also try to get you know meet somewhere on top. That is the third point. So third point perspective is either it's below you or it's up above there. Yeah. It's not on the edge line, but multi-point perspective, all of them are on edge line, no matter what. Bye, Minakshi. Okay, anybody who has a specific question? Okay, that's how I don't want to talk much. My voice is breaking. I want to take questions from you. If you have anything specific, there's a lot of things that I've taught you today. Yes, Yusuf, go ahead. Can I show one photo with three point perspective? I'll draw it for you. Okay. What happens is if you have walks, I do, you have lines coming in from here, like the vanishing point one and vanishing point two. You have Buildings here, right? And then you here. Your voice is breaking, sir. People are finding it difficult to hear. If you can please come closer. As close as possible, like okay. So what I'm saying is this is a building that I've drawn. I've drawn it from a which is like what level is at the bottom. If, if you sleep, if you if you lie down on the road and then look at it. This is how things will look like. Yeah? Then you have more buildings coming in, higher buildings. And then you cut this building here. So that's another building out there, right? So that's one building, this another one. There could be more here. Which Again, like from here, it goes from here, and then cut it from here, and then this line will go and cut it here. So that's another building. Now let me make things darker, which will make it visible to you. So that's one building. This building that, that, that you have, and that's another one right here. Now, third point is when you have 
all these like will also meet somewhere right they also vanishing somewhere this is also meet somewhere they'll also meet somewhere that point is basically the vanishing point because they're not going parallel they're going slightly closer to each other right because it's going away from you you can have more buildings coming in here and you have more drama happening there You see this, this. Yeah. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Third point perspective, this is how it is. If you want to look it from top, this is how it is. Half your at line here another one so all these buildings will fall in place this is a grid that would make all buildings will fall in place from different go on and this all these lines will go and meet somewhere in the bottom that's how you know, the third point is vanishing point vanishing point 2 and vanishing point 3 yeah you see these buildings The plot of building. Yep. So third point below is what the third point is. Third point is either on top or at the bottom. I hope that is clear. Yes, sir. Okay. So there is a question coming in from Anshu. Can please uh, answer that. Sorry, Prashant, you have to come again. Yeah, there is a question coming from Anshu. If you can please uh, answer that. What is the question? In one essay, generally happens like that. What is the question? I'll type it again. There yeah, it is. I can so see that good. once again. Okay, you've typed it again once again. Yes. In painting, we'll always have darkest, nearest, and lightest, farthest. Can there be any? No, we don't need to have everything in every painting, right? This is for understanding, no? A painting can happen, like, you know, in a very small space. Suppose I'm taking subject which is just two feet away from each other, it's a cloth. You won't see the color difference at all. When you have much larger spaces, that is when color perspective happens, right? A visual perspective happens when you, even if you draw a matchbox, uh, the visual perspective, the blind perspective that I'm talking about, that will happen even if you draw a matchbox. But color perspective, you won't be able to see, there won't be near as far. There's very little difference that is going to happen in terms of color. But you want to create space within a very small space, then you have to have an idea how to create space, right? You add blue in the backdrop, suddenly you'll see more space happening. Yeah. So this is how things happen. Okay, the leaf says something that I have to draw a simple cube in three point perspective. So this is the S line. So this is the surface of the cube, the top of the cube, right? Now, yes, that goes in the bottom, and then I cut it from here. That's a three point perspective cube. Why? You see, vanishing point here, vanishing point, vanishing point three at the bottom, yeah? So this is basically a three-point perspective cube. I hope that is you, right? Thank you, thank you, Billy, for asking this. I think this will make things easier to many people. Yeah, this will make it easier to many people to understand. Yep. Just look at the cube. Once more. For other people, that's the cube. That's a three-point perspective cube because there's a 
there's a bottom it goes meets there at the bottom superb we are kind of good it is about the distance yes superb so i think i think we if we do not have questions i believe uh, we have learned did you enjoy doing this very important we still have 34 participants i believe uh, take us take this a step further on the same page can you illustrate a cuboid in one and two and three points okay okay i'll just do that Okay, people. If I draw one point perspective, then suppose that I'll take one of these vanishing points. Suppose this is the vanishing point that I have, right? Then what I draw is suppose that I draw a cube here. This is like so. If I draw a Square here. I'll make it a cube by drawing lines like this and cut it. This is how it becomes. This becomes one point perspective. Yeah. And is near. If it were, it will become two point perspective because this line will have some difference. Now two point perspective. Now most of these will be two point perspective. This is a two point perspective cube. There's no distortion, and therefore this goes like this, and this goes like this. Whatever we have, this is this one point. This is two point, and this is three point. The three point will have distortion, which is like away from both the lines. We'll have another one here. Suppose I have to draw. I'm drawing another three point just for you to understand. Yeah, basically I've got line like this, and then it will distort it. I can draw another like this from here. And then this will go. This is like buildings coming up one after another, yeah. And you see a lot of fun happening. That's how these animators they actually create these illusions. So a lot of buildings coming up. You can put the building somewhere here and say, okay, that's about it. Have the road coming in, all kind of stuff. But then the line will continue to go and meet somewhere. Okay, later you can remove the line. So this is basically one point perspective. This is two point perspective. This is three point perspective. Yeah. Did I do it the way you want it? The leap. Close up, please. Close up. Okay. Let's pull this. That's the close up that you see. Let's go down. Need to go down. That's that's the close up that you have. Close up of the top one. Yep. So that was okay. Superb. Last one minute. Anybody has anything? Please ask. Thank you, Sapna. And I wanted to show you drawing. Who wants to show? And I, and I wanted to show you. And my camera doesn't work. I've tried it every class twice. I have been trying. His camera doesn't work. I think issue is happening. And I, can you send it? Send it to me on WhatsApp. I'll reply. Kumti, the class continue. If there's no notice, class will continue at the same time. Ten thirty or not? Ten thirty to eleven fifteen. We're going to have class. Can you show the exercise with nine steps? I'll email it to you. Malvika, I'll email it to you. Okay, so Swani says, "What about timetable? Listen, 
I wanted to start the second batch because many people were complaining uh, uh, that they they either did not receive the link or, or there were technical issues. They wanted to join later. I said like now we have moved on. We cannot take more people, right? Because we have moved much farther. Now if new person will come, they will have issues. Yeah. So therefore, I'm not. I am. I I don't know. I'm not very confident how many of them are interested. If they are interested in very good numbers only. Only I can start. Uh, I can afford to do a new class because even my schedule is getting very very tight here. Yeah, I'll continue with you guys. You have uh, about two weeks, but then we might have about uh, maximum of six seven classes together, and then we should be able to finish. Okay, so tomorrow's class. Now everybody has to share your drawing, and I'm going to give you feedback on drawing. Whatever you have been doing, whatever you have been learning, if you're not able to do things, you are not going to basically learn much. By listening, nobody has ever uh, learned how to draw. You have to practice. Can you say everyone's drawing? What do you want? Why do you want to? There are hundreds of people. How do? Why do you want to see everybody is drawing? Do not get influenced by somebody else's drawing. No, if somebody needs to be drawn, I'm sharing this. Just keep drawing, keep drawing your own thing. Do not also like that's that's a burden that you have to take. Yes, this is this is a habit that we have from the childhood. Bana ke dikhaya, sida mummy baba ke pas ke kaise bana? Why do you seeking this validation? You do not have to do this. Just explore, explore for some time. People explore for ten ten years. And then their eyes are set. You can't even do it for ten days. So much of curiosity. You do not have curiosity at the right places. Please have curiosity at the right places. You want to draw more. You want to see more. You want to discover more. Figure it out. What others are doing. What kind of curiosity is this? Well, up my apologies. There are technical issues there today because uh, they, this very poor internet. Yesterday we couldn't even finish the class. Therefore, this class today, uh, we are, there are internet issues and uh, we have to deal with it. As long as the technology permits, we are going to go ahead. If the technology doesn't allow, there's nothing that we can do. Anam is saying so. In the three-point perspective, the only line vertical is the one in front of you. I have not got the question. Yeah, I am sorry. There is nothing in front or back. It is there on the two-dimensional space that you are drawing on. Yeah, that's where the, we are flattening. That's why we see all these lines. That's how we see vanishing points. The flattening. The entire three D space, so there's nothing in front or back. Uh, Krisha, I I can't see all your drawings, but I want people to volunteer today. Every day I'm asking, can you show your drawings? There are only two or three the same people who say I want to show the drawing. Yeah. Now I want more people who have not shown the drawing. Can you come forward and show? Because I also need to know if you're if you're actually doing it or you are just time passing it. I need to know. I need to comment on, right? I I want to have some feedback that there's a development that is happening. Otherwise, this will entire thing will be forgotten. With every class, there's so much I need to learn. I have to learn. If I don't learn that. My teaching is going, is working or not working? How better it will work? There's no, no, no takeaway from me, for me. Yeah. So other people, please be ready with your sketchbooks. Be ready with the camera. Please show it to me tomorrow. I'm done with the time today. I will come tomorrow at 10:30. I'm going to start and continue with your drawing. I'm going to give feedback on your work. Pick out, pick out two to three, four, five work of yours. Show it to me properly, yeah. And if need be, if you WhatsApp me, I'm going to put it on the screen and show it to you. You can always do that. You have my number. There's more uh, that that's that if that is comfortable, you can always do that, yeah. 
no krishna tomorrow is not your last class i'll tell you we are going to have at least at least six more classes we have to cover a few things but tomorrow's class will finally be your feedback i'm going to take you through other things in terms of color applications uh, just want to touch upon as many things as possible before we depart prashant six will be good there there's no end to anything but but six is good but only if you practice you reach to a level where you start enjoying there's a calculation that i have uh, you really thoroughly enjoy but if you just attend my classes if you do not draw your drawings it's not going nothing is going to help you actually yeah hello guys take care have a nice sunday evening and uh, those who are from the other side take care have a nice sunday and uh, uh, take care